Hi everyone, I'm JD from Little Band Journals and I love to read. As much as I love to journal and create, I also love books and I have grown up reading pretty much my whole life and I have recently gotten back into reading a lot more books at the moment, um, which I am so loving. And I put it out there a little while ago on my channel, just asking if anyone was interested in an online book club. And there were so many people who said yes, and some people wanted me to start straight away. In fact, one comment was, yes, start immediately. And I was like, whoa, okay, <laughs> let's do this. Let's do this. So I have started an online women's book club um, for ladies 18 and over. And it is through a Facebook group. So it is called the Willow Book Club. And I will link that down below in the description box if you are interested in joining. I think we have about 36 people in there so far. Um, and we've been sharing photos of what we're reading and sharing. Um, one lady just recently put up a photo of her bookcase filled with books. Another lady shared her to be read pile. Um, we are also going to be reading a book a month together that we can come together and discuss. So our first book that we are discussing is Alone With You in the Ether by Olivia Blake. And this one is, it was recommended to me by a friend um, because she knows that I like deep thinking and philosophy. And she said this book was very philosophical. So I think it might be a philosophical romance I'm not quite sure um, but that is our book for June that we will discuss in July our book for July is Babel so I actually got this yesterday I was so excited the same friend who recommended this book also recommended this book to me um, she specifically recommended both of these to me so I'm excited for this one as well this one I believe is a historical fiction um, and I love this, like sweeping and epic. That sounds great to me, an epic one. And I love this review. An ending to blow down walls. I'm like, oh, I want to read this then. I want to find out what that ending is. So that's our book for July. I already have our book lined up for August as well, but I haven't got it yet. And this one I just got from the library. This one I actually bought from Kmart for $14. Um, I, I also get ebooks, audio books. I borrow books from friends. So it's so fun. I actually became part of a book club, a local one as well, uh, in May. And so we have started reading a book a month for that one as well. The first book that I joined in, because I started at the start of this year, so I came in um, a bit of the way in, but I started reading the Wartime Book Club and one of the people in that book club let me borrow it and I really enjoyed that one. I actually was quite surprised because I didn't think I would enjoy it necessarily, necessarily that topic, um, but it was kind of reminded me of the world and setting and characters and vibe of um, the Dictionary of Lost Words and the Bookbind of Jericho. Just a really um, full life or, and world that when you open the pages, you're straight in that world. Um, and then I just finished reading our June book for the local book club called House of Hollow. And I didn't enjoy this one as much. Uh, it was a little bit, um, I had to read it in the day. <laughs> if there's any kind of creepy scariness, I can't do horror. I can't do anything like that. Um, but this one was doable. I read it during the day and didn't enjoy it as much just because I found it didn't have as much depth as I was looking for. Like I didn't really connect with the characters. I didn't, it didn't make me think about the world. I love books that can make me think about my world differently when I come out of it. Um, Wartime Book Club did make me feel, think deeply about my world. It made me think about how grateful I am and how I should really appreciate what I have, you know, that kind of thing. This one, this was just, you know, pure sort of fantasy. I didn't really um, get anything out of it for my life. Um, 
but I did start tabbing. I really want to start tabbing and writing notes on sticky notes and maybe even annotating my books eventually. But yeah, I'm really loving getting into this whole world of um, reading books and annotating. And I've wanted to do it for a long time, but I, yeah, I'm, like I said, I've been getting into reading a lot more this year and I'll probably share a bit about why in another video another time. Um, and what am I saying? <laughs> There's so much I want to cover in this video. Um, but I think I need to spread it out over multiple videos because I can talk about reading and books forever. <laughs> Which is why I started the online book club as well. Because I just found that because I'm reading a lot more and I, I just love books, I want to talk about them. And I needed some sort of outlet to be able to talk about books. Um, and I thought I could enter, you know, the world of booktube, but if there were already people who are part of this crafting journaling community who also liked books like me, that this is for you as well. So uh, if there's fellow book readers out there, um, you are most welcome, like I said, to join that online women's book club. And uh, you're most welcome to join in with reading our books for the month. Um, so excited, so, so excited. What I love, this is what I wanted to mention in this video, is reading widely. I didn't always like to read widely. You know, in my younger days, I just read the books that I liked to read, the genres I liked to read. But then one year, I gave myself a challenge to read at least 100 books a year. And I am glad to say the second year I attempted it, I made that. I believe it was the second year I attempted it. The first year I got to maybe 50 or 60, but finally I did get up to 100. Um, but my challenge was to find books to read that year. And so what I really wanted to do was look up the best books in different genres, like the best sellers, ones that had won awards, um, so that I could read the best of the best and learn from them. I'm also a writer. So when I read, I read not just as someone who wants to be entertained, not as someone who just wants to read a book, but as someone who wants to learn about the craft of writing, how they do it, what I like, what I don't like, what works for me, what doesn't work for me, uh, and be exposed to different genres, writing styles, structures, character development, like all of this kind of stuff. I want to look at that as well and analyze what really sings for me and what doesn't. And that helps me as a writer then know what types of books I want to write, know how I want to write, that kind of thing. So even you know, reading a book like this, I didn't enjoy it very much. I would totally be happy having not have read this. I don't feel like my life lacks anything when I, if I didn't read this. Um, so whereas when I, when I read Wartime Book Club, that one, I felt like added something to my life. It gave me a different perspective. It gave me something. It gave me a way to look at my own life differently. It gave me something. This one, I felt like it didn't really give me anything in terms of the story, but what it did give me and why it's still worth reading <laughs> in a way is because I learned as a writer why it didn't work for me and as a reader why it didn't work for me, as a person why it didn't work for me because it's, it didn't give me any depth, it didn't give me any new lens to look at my life through. Um, it, there was some, like it kept me reading so it's still good for that, like some books I just can't get through. Um, this one, it had a mystery, it kept me engaged, I was, you know, I kept wanting to find things out, but yeah, the mystery itself, I didn't necessarily care about, and and when you find found out what the mystery was, I, again, I was just like, eh, whatever, <laughs> and that's the worst thing, I, I guess, a book can be for me, is if I don't care, if I'm bored, um, yeah, that's when a book doesn't work for me personally. Totally cool. I appreciate all writers though for getting through a book and for the craft. And I appreciate that, yeah, it did get me to keep on reading. I was intrigued by this mystery. There was some beautiful poetic prose or, or rather imagery in this book. That they did some things well. Case in point, I was able to finish it. It did some things well. Um, but I also learned why I didn't resonate with it um, as a writer and as a reader. So anyway, I'll just say I like to read widely. I like to read different genres. I like to be exposed to different ways 
of writing styles genres all that kind of stuff um so that's why i've chosen some quite different books for our monthly reading for our willow book club one like it's a romance i'm guessing philosophical historical fiction and the one after this i think the category would just be fun um it, the one for august is the thursday murder club i believe it's called or the thursday mystery club um my sister i was talking to her to it to her about it and she said she's got all four she loved them she thought they were just light and funny and i'm like okay these might be a bit deep you know deep and philosophical epic epic book so i thought we need something light and fun after this so um something funny as well is always good so yeah that's our next one for august and i thought yeah i just keep on going with different books that uh you know encompass kind of a wide variety of genres and it's a great way for me to also tick off books on my reading list i also want to mention this one this is one i'm currently reading um a friend let me borrow this these are her tabs um and i'm about halfway through as you can see and this was on my reading list so many people said this was so good and finally I've got it and my goodness I'm reading it so quick I could read this in like a day I reckon because it's so good um, but you know life is busy gotta go out <laughs> do work and all that kind of stuff see people so I haven't been able to read it all in one go which I would love to do but I'm still getting through it pretty quick and I love it so much one of the ladies in the Willow book club asked me I um, can't remember her specific question, but it was along the lines of why are you drawn to it? Why do you want to read it? And I answered, basically, you guys know my journey. If you've followed my channel for a while, how I have been wanting to live a slower, smaller, simpler life the last couple of years. And this book, you know, The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry is all about living a slower, well, slower life, less hurried life. Um, so I'm really, really enjoying it. It's, it's speaking to me. I love this kind of thing, living simply, living, uh, he calls it living deliberately. And you know me, I, I run the Intentional Life course. I love living intentionally, but now I really want to explore this word. I've talked about it in the Everything Journal course, this word deliberate. I really want to kind of look up the definition, look at the difference between deliberate and intentional and add that, incorporate that into my life. See, this is a book where I can read it and it affects how I see my life. I, I say books change my life. Books can change people's lives because they have changed my life. When a book can really help me reflect on my own life, that is a good book in my in my eyes. <laughs> um, and this one is doing it in spades. Like every, every page, I'm like, whoa, oh my gosh, I need to write that one down. <laughs> I need to really think about that. I really need to um, make some changes. Um, so this one I actually think I'm going to buy uh, because I want to reread it and this is probably one I want to annotate actually uh, and go back to again and again to influence how I live and my behavior so just want to put that one out there I, I could have made if I knew I was going to get this one I didn't know my friend would let me borrow it because um, I didn't know you know when I would get around to reading this but if I knew I had it I would have put this one as one of our books you know um, for this Willow Book Club but all to say, I recommend this. <laughs> Just to say, I really, really, really recommend this book. It's one of those page turner ones. I am adoring it. Um, yeah, so if you're into booktube, books reading, um, I thought I'd just introduce the Willow Book Club here if you wanted to join it. Um, and if you want more videos like about books, maybe one a week, maybe one a fortnight, or even one a month where I wrap up my monthly reading or something, let me know um, and what kind of posts you'd want to see posts what kind of videos i'm thinking maybe yeah i would share what i've read so far this year uh, i keep a list and my aim at the beginning of the year was to read two books per month um but because i've been getting back into reading again i am reading more than two books a month at the moment which i'm loving i'm if i can get to a book a week that would be great that would be ideal um so yeah I would love to kind of do an update video just to catch up to speed of where I've come from in terms of what books I've read so far this year and then maybe pace it out by month.
what books I read in that month. And then I can, you know, share my thoughts on these books if anyone is interested, just chat about them. And I just always, always, you know, want to be conscious of, even if I don't enjoy a book, I never want to um, drag the book through the mud or anything. I never want to um, drag the author through the mud. I really want to be like respectful um, and honor the writer and the book because, you know, as a reader and as a writer, I get how hard it is to write a book and I appreciate all the work that went into it. And just because I don't like it doesn't mean it's not a good book at all. Um, I can subjectively say, I did not like this book and I don't think it's a good book for me, but please don't take that ever to mean it's not a good book in general. <laughs> um, I could have my very strong opinion personally for myself, but I don't want that to take away from what the author has done and, and the book itself whenever I say my reviews or whatever. So I know lots of people love the books that I don't like right so other people get things out of them other people it does make them think think deeply um it does speak to them so just because i don't like a book it's not me you know um i i still want to honor the author and honor the book <laughs> even even if, even if it's a strong opinion of i don't like this book um so yeah if you are a book lover too and want to be part of the group check the description box below to join and post frequently like I don't want it to be like it's my group and I post posts for engagement no no I want everyone to post anytime whenever they want about whatever they're reading uh, about anything to do with books reviews recommendations um write about a book that you liked that you didn't like write about or just post a photo of a book you're reading or post photos of your collection like anything anything to do with books I get so excited when people talk about books <laughs> um the local book club I'm part of they have their own Facebook group too which is where I got the idea to do the online Facebook page because the local one is quite active um different people post um and just share like quotes from books sometimes that really resonated with them or they share where they can find the book in case in case it helps other people find it um i don't know if you love books it's for you i did it for you and me to be able to share our love of books and and talk about our love of books is the main thing as well um and yeah and we're, and we're doing it like a proper book club with our book a month and i was thinking if you wanted we could do, we were, originally my plan was just to discuss the book, you know, by each person posting their thoughts on it at the start of July. But if you want and make it like a proper book club, uh, we can discuss it like face to face through Zoom. Um, and all we do is just one at a time, go around the room and everyone shares their thoughts on the book, uh, what they liked, what they didn't like, what they got out of it how it spoke to them, their rating. Um, but of course, you don't have to join the Zoom if you don't want to. I just thought it might be fun if people wanted that option as well. Uh, but still thinking about ideas with that too. So I'm just putting out feelers, seeing if anyone's interested in that. Uh, but we can discuss that in the book group, <laughs> the book club group. Awesome. So eventually I will film another video which is going to be a booktube newbie tag that I've followed for a while now. Uh, I love hearing about people's books, favorite books, what they love reading, all that kind of, that kind of stuff. So I want to do the tag myself. I love tags. I actually like tags. They're fun because I, I guess because we've got questions to answer and I love questions. Um, so I'm going to, I think in the next version of my booktube videos, um, do a booktube newbie tag and share about why I started booktube, why I, wait, I can't remember the questions now, what my favorite books are, what genres I like, what, oh, what book got me into reading, all this stuff. Um, and I'm going to run it on my channel. So yeah, in that, in that video, I'll do a flip through of my reading journal, um, as I answer those questions. So you've got something to look at while I answer those questions. Um, so Huh, okay. <laughs> uh, I think that's all. A bit of a new adventure. Um, but yeah, 
looking forward to chatting books with you <laughs> uh, and put in the comments if you are a book reader and what you're currently reading or a book that you're most looking forward to reading or a favorite book or a book you recommend anything anything about books <laughs> thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye guys. A big special thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in April. If you like my channel and would like to support it as well, there are a few ways you can do that. One is by becoming a patron, where you get access to all my extra videos, including my member videos and the journal making series each month. Uh, and depending on your tier, you also get access to every digital kit in my Etsy plus a new one each month and there are various mail tiers as well where I send you some goodies in the post. Uh, you can also support my channel by becoming a member of my channel by clicking the join button and all of the information and links are down below in the description box if you are interested in supporting Willow Bound Journals.